This weekend, one of the most anticipated movies of the year will be released based on the life of Robert Oppenheimer, now often described as the father of the atomic bomb. And one Las Vegas woman has a real special reason for wanting to see the film because Robert Oppenheimer is her grandfather. She gave her first interview to 8 News Now Chief Investigator George Knapp. This is a national emergency. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. The world will remember this day. Dr. Robert Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb, was deeply conflicted about his creation. He and other scientists and engineers knew they were in a race against Nazi Germany with the survival of civilization hanging in the balance. But once they'd succeeded, as demonstrated with the successful Trinity test 78 years ago this month, the enormity of what their creation might mean for the world weighed heavily on their minds. Oppenheimer's most famous quote conveyed his deep doubts. Well, I, I grew up uh, with my siblings up in the um, ranch that Robert Oppenheimer owned. Las Vegas yeah, resident Robert Dorothy Vegas. Vandiver knows the home where director Christopher Nolan shot much of his new movie. As the granddaughter of Robert Oppenheimer, she grew up on that property. She's lived in Nevada since the 90s and works for the contractor which manages the Nevada National Security Site, the place that has seen more atomic explosions than any other location on Earth. Imagine having that name and working at that place. Oh, I mean, my dirty secret is that I changed my name when I got married. <laughs> and uh, so so, you know, I go by Dorothy Oppenheimer Vanderford, but I also am known as Dorothy Vanderford. And, and do they, did they, when people know the association, do they ask you physics questions or ask you about... Thankfully, no, because that would be awkward. <laughs> I couldn't answer them. Vandiver earned her degree in English and writes reports for her employer. She's the daughter of Peter Oppenheimer, son of the physicist, shown in this photo standing behind his dad. Her father doesn't speak publicly about the family's legacy. Her famous grandfather died before Dorothy was born, but she learned at an early age why the name was so well known. And, in, and growing up in, in the family, was there discussions about what he had accomplished and how he was treated? There were some discussions about it, um, remarkably not as many as you might think, um, but my dad always maintained that he was a, a good patriot who was doing what he needed to do during wartime, um, that we had been attacked and that he was not treated fairly. After the Trinity test and the bombings of two Japanese cities that ended World War II, Robert Oppenheimer openly expressed concerns about an atomic arms race and pushed back against the creation of bigger, more destructive nuclear weapons. That brought him into conflict with powerful interests. The family was placed under constant, often illegal surveillance. Although Oppenheimer had been trusted with the world's most important secret, investigations dug up dirt, namely his close personal links to former members of the Communist Party, one of whom was his wife. Eventually, Oppenheimer's security clearance was revoked following a humiliating public hearing. And I worry about that because that is what the government accused him of having, is having a character flaw. And I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's a fair characterization. Um, I admire and respect him for being willing to speak up when he saw that there was going to be a problem with nuclear armament proliferation and being willing to say this is a problem let's look at this a different way after his clearance was stripped oppenheimer went into a deep depression he died at age 62 decades later in december 2022 the revocation of his clearance was reversed and his name was in essence restored and they won't understand it until they've used it. The Oppenheimer film is about a massive project that changed the world, but at its core, it looks at a central moral dilemma. I don't know if we can be trusted. And then that's one of the things I'm really interested in seeing how they, um, how he's portrayed in the movie. I think he's rather heroic. They often talk about the tragic hero, right? So it's, it's both at the same time. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Now, she had not yet seen the film when George spoke to her just a couple of days ago, but she has now. She and other members of the Oppenheimer family will appear at a public event happening next week that's organized by the Atomic Testing Museum.